Hello, my friends. Welcome back for some more DLC runs. Uh, this is going to be part number eight. And I should apologize right away for lying, because the last time that we had a video out uh, and we were going through it, I said very erroneously that we were not going to let any time pass. We were just going to jump right into the next section. Uh, that turned out to not be the case. Uh, what happened is I started playing through and realized there were a couple of problems that I needed to solve that were not very fun to watch. Um, so I definitely waited and set up a couple of other systems so that we'd have a lot more interesting things to talk about that's happening down here. Well, speaking of interesting things to talk about, uh, we're running into a little bit of problem where all of our water sources are very, very cold. So I'm digging down into this area to start uh, using this natural heat to help heat up the water before I pump it out. So it looks like I'm digging a little bit too far down. So let's go ahead and fix that real fast. Get our liquid pump and our pipes and cancel that. Set up our automation. I don't know how well this is going to work, by the way. Uh, this is the first time I've really like used just random ground to heat up water. Uh, I could do it through the liquid tepidizer, but I don't want to have to spend the power to do that so i'm just trying to do it this way so let's just see how this works yet another experiment but that's all good um yeah so uh the major things that we need to cover and one of which is one uh that i'm i'm guessing a lot of other people are falling into this trap as well because i found myself doing the same and that is just kind of building and not really having any direction taking on dupes for no real reason other than just to be bigger so uh i kind of distilled this problem down into wondering what exactly is the point of this other asteroid and as i looked at it i just kind of thought there's no real reason for me to be here there's no real reason for me to do anything here other than when i'm ready for oil so outside of that i don't have any plans for this so i've started just kind of abandoning this area uh, i have left uh one person behind this is john who is now lonely once again after he came out of his cryo tank so he's going to be here by himself just kind of maintaining this area in case anything needs to be done. And maybe as soon as this teleporter is ready, I'll just teleport him back and this area will just kind of languish until we're ready to come back here for oil. Um, no real reason to juggle two sides if there's not really a purpose to. So yeah, that's, that's gonna be my plan with this. I'm not just gonna make my dupes live somewhere that they don't really have a purpose being. So yeah, speaking of which, the only way we're going to find any other places is if we start doing a little bit of space traveling. So on our star map, we have revealed another asteroid here called Grauil. Uh, sure, whatever that's called. Uh, and we're going to go there. And when you click on one of these things, you can actually see what is here. So you can oversee the planetoid. I'm guessing this. I just can't see anything right now because I haven't revealed anything yet. So... Yeah, not too much to see there, but if you go to our star map, you can actually see that if you get within these ranges, I'm pretty sure this is where you can uh, deploy a place to land. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try that with our first rocket mission in this video. So let's go. Oh, one more thing we need to look at is you can kind of get a preview of what's here. So you can see the geysers, which are kind of cool. A couple of volcanoes here. The gold might be pretty interesting. That'll help our refined metals. Same with the aluminum. Uh, carbon dioxide geyser... Maybe for, like, fuel, I guess. Carbon dioxide is no longer nearly as useless as it was, so that's kind of interesting. But yeah, the other biomes that are here are space, which we already know. Tundra, which is pretty common for a lot of the beginner maps in the base game. Barren, which is barren. Not really much interesting there. Uh, the forest. Oh, this is apparently still simulating while I'm looking at this. The forest, which is the starting biome on a lot of the asteroids in the vanilla version. The marsh, which you've seen before, and this is what's really interesting for me in the marsh, are these uh, thimble reeds, so we can go get reed fibers from there for the first time. And metallic, which apparently has drecos. Uh, this seems like a new biome, I don't think I've seen this before. Finally, radioactive, which, yeah, definitely never seen that before because that's a new idea for this expansion. So we're going to try to get there and see what that's all about. And in order to do that, we need to go back home. And we need to look at our rocket that we've constructed. Yay! So we have a couple of modules on this. One is going to be a solo spacefarer nose cone. I don't know if this you need to use this one or a different one, but uh, just to kind of poke around this a little bit for people that haven't seen this before. Apparently there's an interior to this. Um, and I think that that means that you're going to have a dupe kind of just chilling here while 
uh, they're on missions, so you could kind of leave them out in space somewhere, I think, if you wanted to. And there's this interior that I guess has a bunch of stuff that we can't really do anything with. Like, I don't think we can deconstruct it, I don't think we can do anything like that. Probably wouldn't want to do that in space anyway, but yeah. So, um, let me get back to where we were. Oversee the planetoid. And we got a trailblazer module here attached to it also, which I think is what you need in order to dis to drop one of these landing pads, which is uh, what we put here. It's called the Rocket Platform 572, I guess. And then also we have a carbon dioxide engine. So there's a lot of different stats with this thing, and uh, you can go ahead and change the crew. I have the re uh, researcher Mason set up to fly this thing. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna set a destination and then I think uh, once we get there, once we can select a destination, which I'm just going to select like this, for example, this ought to, I think, take off. It's going to complain that there's no landing sites or anything like that, but uh, I think this is it. Let's try to get this uh, duplicate to come up to the module here, and I don't know what that's going to do. So, yeah, we're doing this for the first time and we're learning. So, oh, we passed the person we wanted. All right, Mason, you going up there? You going to fly this thing, or what's going on? And I think that I... I think I have the ladder set up in a way that they can get to it. I'm pretty sure. There's not anything that I can see that's like a gantry or anything like that in the previous version, so... Hopefully, at some point, this will just launch. Oh, our launch checklist is incomplete. Check the launch checklist in the status panel. Um... Oh, here we go. We're missing qualified crew. I was pretty sure that we had that. Let me see what we are requiring, because the research that I have for my researcher should have been enough. Oh, I need to check the skills. All right, Mason, what are you missing? You have rocket piloting. You have everything, I think. Do you need to be able to wear a suit? Is that what I'm... No, because I can't wear suits. So I, I can't even make them yet. What am I missing? Okay. At least one crew member must have the rocket piloting skill, which I thought I did. Yeah, I have both of them. Uh, this might be a bug. No extra passengers we need. Flight path is clear. We have all the other stuff. We're just missing a qualified crew. Crew may not leave the module. Let's try messing around with these and see if we can get somebody in there. Because we have somebody piloting it. We could change to somebody else, but I don't know why we would do that. We have people that are qualified for this. All duplicates may enter and exit the module freely until the rocket's ready for launch. Before launch, the crew will be automatically requested. Okay, let's try this. Maybe this will get the researcher to come up and actually go into the rocket. Is this you? Is this you? I think so. We doing this? Mason, come on, don't let me down. Get in the rocket. Yes. Okay, cool. So. This colony has no food. Can we actually build stuff in here? Oh, we can. Interesting. So I guess does this actually request food when we're there? We could put food in there, and then I guess when they land, they're going to have to deal with that. So... Do we produce oxygen in here? Because this is a vacuum, too. Whoa, this is crazy. Um, okay, so theoretically, if we were to have, like, an algae terrarium, we could put that in here. And then we could put... Can we actually build stuff? Yes? What? What in the world is this? This is crazy. I don't know why this would happen, but... Why would we build like this? But you could p presumably add some, like, extra storage and stuff. Dang. This is crazy. Okay, cool. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of get my first reactions. I've never actually seen this before or done this before, but let's see what happens with the rocket now that we've got them loaded. Hopefully it will, uh, will launch. I don't know if he's going to have enough air to get there. Um, how else would we get oxygen here? Well, let's just see what happens, and if we leave a dupe to drifting out in space, then yeah, we'll call that good. Launch, for whatever reason. Hooray! There's like tape on it. Whoa, that thing's fast. Okay, off he goes. 
All right. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a good or a bad idea. I don't know how long it's going to take there. Okay. 90 seconds. So let's see if we can see inside. Are you going to run out of air? Maybe. <laughs> this is like a space uh, setup that's like totally not qualified for what they're trying to do. Like a space organization or whatever. Because um, I'm just sending them there being like, well, hope you don't run out of oxygen. Have fun. All right, so we are in a flight to orbiting it. I think once we're orbiting it, then we can drop it off. Thing is, should we just send them back now that we know we need to send them with oxygen? Let's just do that. Let's have this go back here. Uh, I don't want to go here anymore. Uh, I need to change my destination back to here. Okay. Yeah, we'll send them back. Just because we know what we're doing now. And I don't want to send them out there to just die. So let's get back to the planet, which is an interesting endeavor to try to do. Okay, they just landed. So let's get them out. Which I think this is what we want to do. Change the crew. We'll take him out. There we go. Get back in. Okay, so now we know... We need to have some kind of uh, job to put oxygen in there or generate oxygen in, oxygen in there. So this is really crazy. This is totally not what I expected. Is they going to be able to generate power while they're in there? There's a lot of problems that I need to solve with this now. Um, we could see what other modules we could put on here because we have a trailblazer and we have a solo spacefarer nose cone. I need a place to land, so maybe until I have more powerful rockets, I'm not supposed to actually use a person. I'm supposed to just use an automated one, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see what we can do on the interior, because then on the interior, maybe we could drop some stuff. Maybe we could ship some algae from that dead part and then just drop them in with like an algae terrarium, because that'll get rid of, uh, that'll get rid of carbon dioxide also. So we will need, how do we actually even just run things in here? Can I just create a box to like request stuff? Time to do some more science. So if I ask for this to be built, does that mean someone's just gonna show up and build it at some point? I would assume so. Bunch of liquid carbon dioxide, by the way. Surprised it's not freezing solid because it should be pretty close to that. All right, let's see what happens once we actually get somebody up there to build something. Because if we have material up there that we could load in there, even something as simple as like oxalite maybe, uh, we could do that. Uh, but I don't really have a place to get it from. We don't have a way to produce it, I don't think. Do we? No, I don't think so. Maybe we don't have it researched yet. But I think my plan of the algae terrarium might be the best one I have. I just need to send them there with some water and uh, and some algae. And I guess that would solve our oxygen problems, but I don't know if they can still use the mask while they're out there or not. This is really weird. Okay, let's check out the inter interior. They're building something, or at least dropping something off, so that's interesting. Okay, so we built a storage bin. So I guess we could request stuff here. Uh, I could request algae, which I don't think I have any of. Actually, you know what we could do? This would be a really dumb way to do this, but we could request polluted dirt. Since I know that we have this on the world. Or let's just, uh... Yeah, the algae is probably pretty scarce at the other place anyway. So I'm just going to do polluted dirt. We'll do... I don't know. 10,000 kilograms, maybe. Let's put in some of these deodorizers. And we will need a way to generate power. I don't know if any of this is going to work or make any sense. So we've got this. Duplicate operation required. Really? Can I not generate power here? I guess I'd probably have to deconstruct this and put it somewhere else. Why does it say duplicate operation is required? I thought those were powered. Huh. I don't know what this is asking me. Duplicate must be present to complete this operation. 
Um, okay, well, let's just let this run and see what happens and see if they ever build it. Uh, in the meantime, let's just talk about a couple of other random things that I've uh, had to deal with uh, in the mean in the interim. Uh, we were talking a little bit about getting... Oh, see, he's building it. What are we complaining about? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now the question is, how am I going to get up there? I'm going to probably have to build another layer, so let's do something like this. Airflow tiles. Yeah, I think it's just going to complain about those builds. I'm going to build a ladder up here. And then I'll put uh, some stuff up there like this. And then I, I guess this will work. I think. All right, anyway, so other stuff that I've been doing in the meantime is obviously setting up these masks that we've seen a little bit before. I just put an oxygen generator right below it because it just does it just draws in oxygen from around it from the air. Uh, we also talked a little bit about getting hatches up and running, but I am not grooming them. I'm just kind of keeping them around because I don't really have anything to do with them right now. And that's mainly just because... Oh, man, I have a lot of critters down here. Uh, let's attack a couple of these. That's mainly because these solar panels are so strong. And solar panels are so accessible right now. It's not like sand is hard to get. So I kind of think that these solar panels being this accessible this early is probably going to be an ongoing design issue. I think they're probably going to have to patch this a couple times to try to make this not so easy and accessible. Because right now, getting solar panels up is super duper easy. All right, what's happening in here? All right, we're getting this. We need a battery, too. Um, we should probably move this so we have a better place to put the battery. And then I'll put the uh, deodorizer here and a battery here, and then we'll hook it all up, and then we'll have a way to produce oxygen, and then we'll go. At least clean oxygen. Um, I don't know what happens with the masks, so I may need to have a second way to get to the rocket that doesn't go through the mask area. Uh, just so they enter this without a mask, because I, I have a way to produce oxygen, so I don't really want them to use it. I think. I don't know what happens if they are staying in a... Um, in an oxygen-rich environment when they already have a mask on. I don't know if they just deplete it or what happens. So there's definitely some more learnings to be happening there. And then... something like this. Okay. Cool. So, uh, with the hatches... Oh, they have no food either. Hmm. I guess I could put both the food... No, you can't store them both in there. Hmm. How can I be more efficient? Hmm. Really trying to think about how I'm going to fit all this stuff. Because I do want food here. How am I going to store this? Let's try to just make some stuff up and see what happens. So we have a battery. We need that. We have a deodorizer. That's fine. That's actually not really taking up any space. Let's build some airflow tiles like this. We could build a food box and a box to actually store the... to store the polluted dirt in. So let's do this. Let's do a ration box. Let's do a storage bin. And then I guess this is just going to be kind of polluted. Uh, and then the, this will kind of clean it out. So hopefully my dupe is going to be spending most of their time down here. So I have food and I have oxygen for my dupe. I don't have a bathroom. So we might make a mess inside this capsule. All right. Anyway, so I think what's going to be a problem design-wise is if these are so accessible, because these were really not accessible in the base game, because of how much damage they would have to take and all the infrastructure you'd have to set up in order to prevent that. Now, if it were up to me, I would literally just do nothing but solar panels. Like, this is the most freest free power ever. Uh, all I have to do is just set up something to make more glass, which I have researched right now, this glass forge. And then I can just throw up as many solar panels as I want and get free power forever. So, unless there's some kind of harshness about getting power here or maybe this is just intentional because the other asteroids are a little bit more difficult and they actually will have those types of showers or something uh they kind of are just super overpowered so we'll have to see what happens with that not that i'm complaining too much because there is a lot to learn and having something simplified is nice but yeah all right how are we doing in here now oh, we got some ways to go 
deconstruct. Let's cancel this. We actually don't even need power to go up there at all. So deconstruct those and cancel this build. Okay, so we have like a whole chamber where they will be able to generate power. Oxygen should be continuously generating. They'll be able to eat. And we'll go back out on a mission. Hopefully do this by the end of the video. We should be getting stuff done in here pretty fast because I don't think I have a lot of other stuff to do. All right, Jean is idling because there is nothing to do here. Is, can I send him back yet? Yes, I think I can. So this is officially abandoned. We will not be caring about this until we need oil. And I feel like this is just a smarter decision, although it's not as exciting, but that puts us all in one place. So Jean, welcome to a place you've actually never been to before. Now get to work. All right, view interior, we about done. Oh, he's being attracted to come run on this. <laughs> All right, let's disable this for now. <laughs> There's like nobody in there. He's just like, uh, uh, gotta keep this thing powered. All right, we will need Dizzy to be loaded up with sand. So once we get the initial delivery, I'll probably split this between... Uh, see, that's the other annoying thing is if I split it between sand and polluted dirt, there's no guarantee I'm gonna get it in a ratio that I like. Uh, but this should probably be a, this, I think this will be enough. Even still, they can still produce, or they can still breathe polluted oxygen, so that's not that big of a deal. And they may come back as a, uh, pee-pee-soaked, uh, germ-infested, heckhole resident who has peed all over the place and has made germs for themselves, and they're gonna come out of the ship and be like, oh man, that was crazy! People are gonna be like, what are you talking about, man? This is crazy. Uh, but yeah. Let's go ahead and just try to rush this so we can get this mission underway. I really want to do this in the scope of this video, so I think I'm, if this goes past time, I'm just going to keep going just to make sure we see this. So hopefully nobody minds. So yeah, we are totally off that. Um, there's a couple bugs here, by the way, and I don't know if anybody's really going to care that much, but I'm having a lot of trouble with these tiles that you need to reveal. I feel like some of them are marked that way and there's no way to get rid of them. Uh, there were some on, I think, the other asteroid as well that are a big deal that I couldn't get rid of. Uh, trying to find where it was. Or maybe it resolved itself and I'm just not noticing. No, it must be on the first one. Oh yeah, it was here. It didn't reveal until I actually started building around it and doing all kinds of silly stuff. Uh, so there are definitely some bugs with the visibility. The other thing that's kind of annoying is you can teleport somebody from place to place, but if you do that, it doesn't actually reassign their bed. So I have to go here and like unassign their bed before they'll reassign somewhere else. Otherwise they'll just sleep on the ground. So. Some kind of silly things. Uh, also to power this, you might have noticed I kind of glazed over it, but uh, carbon dioxide engine means that we're getting some use out of our carbon dioxide now. Uh, this also will mean that I had to set up a little bit of extra piping to pipe it out. And you can see how sloppy I've been about controlling what goes in there. If it's been oxygen or polluted oxygen or chlorine or whatever, I've just been storing it. So I'm gonna be filtering it now. So I have a general filtration method to blow out any polluted oxygen or regular oxygen. And here is where I'm filtering for anything but carbon dioxide. Um, one thing I did notice though, is that if you feed this any other gases, it won't actually damage it. It'll just be like, eh, that's the wrong gas. I'm just gonna dump it out. So that was at least a little bit convenient. Okay, now we need to request our polluted dirt. I don't wanna take a tremendous amount. So let's just do like, I don't know, 1200 kilograms maybe. And same thing goes with this. I wanna only take maybe like 10 kilograms of something. I think the mo thing that I have the most is these uh, swampy delights. It's what I've been cooking recently to help get a little bit of um, of morale bonus. So we're gonna have food, we're gonna have oxygen. There's carbon dioxide in here now, I don't want that. Oh crap, that's gonna be another thing I'm gonna have to deal with. Uh, That's okay, this is good enough. Man, I wonder what kind of modules we're gonna have. Cause I wanna have extra like space to build this out. But since I'm going so simple for the first run, and since I wanna land a platform there, I think this is all I'm gonna get. Okay, once these get filled up, we'll call that good. Let me see how many kilograms of something I'm storing now. So I have a good idea of how many calories that is. Let's see where we are storing food. We are currently storing 148 and that's about this many calories, so. That'll give us maybe a little bit less than 10,000, which is totally fine for one duplicate, so cool. Uh, sure, I guess so. 
By the way, um, something I'm going to mention that I think is going to be a lot more valuable in these in this expansion is housing critters and encouraging their population growth without actually taming them. Um, something I could have done the entire time with these plug slugs is I could have just not groom them at all and let them be wild and that would mean that they would eat a lot less food and they would also produce less power but I think that they eat like dramatically less food if you do that so that might be something interesting to consider all right so we have polluted oxygen in here there is also carbon dioxide is this gassing off I am not sure we are getting at least a little bit, so I don't know if it'll wind up getting breathed or what kind of pressure is allowed in here. So once again, just a little bit of an experiment. Let's try it out. So I think we have everything we need. Let me make sure we have food. And I don't think we do. So I need to actually... Hmm. Whoops, that's a wrong button right there. Let me actually deconstruct this just to do something kind of a brute force way. Or we could also just make it store something else. Like, we could make it store grub fruit, for example. And there's 118 kilograms of that. So let's have it just store that, and we'll leave the Swampy Delights alone. And then somebody should ought to come here and grab it and take it up to the ship. And then once they're there, uh, we'll get it going. And I also have no idea how the mask stuff is going to work, so that would be interesting to know. Um, the safest thing, I think, would be to send them in there without a mask. But I don't know that... I feel like it would be pretty bad if they had a mask on and they wouldn't take it off so they can breathe. I feel like that would be like a kind of game-breaking problem. Uh, so I'm willing to just roll with that and hope it works out. Okay, we are producing a little bit of polluted oxygen. It's not a lot, but it is some. Uh, is this going to be enough? I wish I had algae. I think I actually burned most of it on the other asteroid. But let's just go with a really crappy setup like this. And let's just see what happens. Uh, is there anything I can put in here to actually deal with the carbon dioxide? I don't think so. So, well, this is our first mission. If we have a duplicate and die on the way or something bad happens, then he will be sacrificed in the name of science and knowledge. So... Our first duplicate might die in the expansion, which we're just going to have to live with, and we'll, somebody will come get his body later. All right, here we go. Let's set this up for requiring the crew. And change the crew to require Mason. Mason, let's go. I know you're right there. I can see you. Wait, are you hanging out here because this is like the group hangout place? Is it that time of day? Is that what's going on? No, you're just not doing anything. There's already someone here. What's happening? Uh, let me, like, queue up a job or something like that to get these people to do something else. Because everybody's idling. Maybe this is another bug that I'm running into. There we go. Granite? We don't have granite? What? Yes, we do. What's happening? I'm getting all kinds of bugs. Man. Riley, what are you doing? Um, okay. He did something. I need Blump is coming to drop some stuff off. What is happening? Man, this is very, very buggy. Sorry about that. This would have been much more exciting if we had this all ready to go, but... You know, we gotta learn. Gotta show that it's okay to learn. Where's our researcher? I'm getting so tired of waiting. All right, hurry up. Why are you down here digging? You need to go to the ship. Crew may not leave the module. All right, get out. Forcing this as much as I possibly can. Oh, I need a destination. Okay, that might be the reason why. Let's set it here. There we go. We figured it out. Okay, here we go. Uh, launch. I'm gonna actually play this at a normal speed, though. As I pause. Alright, we have some kind of clearance for launch. Here we go. 
launching this thing. And off it goes. That's really fast, because that's on normal speed. By comparison, watch how fast these other things move at normal speed. Like, they're a snail's pace. So that's really, really fast that they get off the planet. All right, what's happening here? Seen Growl Wheel, there's nothing there. Here's the rocket. This guy's getting hungry. Let's see what he does. Oh, we need to enable the building. And once we get to our destination, I'm gonna have to deploy... Oh, we're there, okay. So, what I wanna do is I wanna deploy the Trailblazer module with Mason. I can't see... Oh, there's like a wrecked spaceship here. No, I'm getting that bug where if I scroll far away, it won't let me build anymore. I can't believe that hasn't been fixed. Uh, I think I clicked something. What's happening? Okay. We landed. And he's sleeping. That's a really good idea right now. Uh, okay. Hmm. All right. Can I actually leave? <laughs> I don't... Um... Okay. So... We have stranded a dupe here with no oxygen. On the surface of a planet... Where I could dig to get to this place. But I will have to retain this oxygen as much as I can. There's also no food because they left their ship. Um... Okay. So, what we probably need to do is we need to find a place that this doesn't have space exposure. So if we have somewhere like right here, I need to have him working around the clock now. I cannot afford to have him sleeping. His stamina is at 100%, so that's fine. So you are on... Mason, we are adding a new schedule for you. You are on work duty until I say you can sleep or until you fall over from exhaustion. All right, so we need to rename this. This will be named You Gon' Die Schedule. All right, Mason, you're on the You Gon' Die Schedule. All right, here we go. So what I need is I need like a door here, so a ladder down, and then I'll dig into here and that'll give me oxygen and that'll keep me alive for a little longer. After that, I need to find food, so I could kill some of these critters to get meat. Oh my god, I can't believe we're doing this. This is like roughing it the hardest you've ever roughed it in your entire life. Of literally landing on top of a planet with basically no oxygen, no food, and you need to dig into the ground before you can get that. So this is insane. Alright, so this ought to hopefully give us enough for the door. So let's start there. I'm going to also play this on very slow. Mason, get up. Hurry so you do not die. I don't care if your back is sore. All right, let's go. Hut, hut, hut. We can do this. What I'm also going to need is to dig this out so I can reach far enough down below me. So that I can get a ladder going. Whoa, where are you going? Okay. Dig to the next one. Yes. Okay. Now, if I have a door here, I need just one block for a ladder. Which I think can be made out of igneous rock. Okay, yes. And then I need a manual airlock that can go right here. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is absurd. How much oxygen do you have? Can't tell. This is so silly, but if we do this, this is going to be outstandingly epic. All right, we've dug our way into this. This should last us for a while. And for reals this time, if we need to come back immediately after this, we will. I just want to make sure that Mason is not going to die right away. So the first concern is getting oxygen. Uh, let me open this. Yes. Oh, I don't need this. Cancel. What are you doing? No, I don't want you to do this. Keep it on auto. <laughs> this tree is just like, oh, I can't do it. All right, we're going to live. 
I think we're gonna live. Close. Yes. Okay. 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 Mason's alive. We have managed to secure oxygen by some miracle. Uh, okay. Now we need to get food. Our food is going to start down here. I'm gonna have to kill these pips more than likely. There's some mealwood growing here. I could kill this pip. All right, let's go get our food. Can you actually farm? I think so. I think that's one of the basic skills. So I could dig this up and start building mealwood. Once I kill this pip and once I see Mason eat, I think we have lived and we are going to stop as soon as that happens. Apologies for how long this video has gone, but this is like, this is one of those survival shows where they don't have a camera crew that will save them in case anything bad happens. This is like, you better hope that you know what you're doing. Okay, his mask did come off. Fortunately, oh, it's negative 50 degrees in here. Okay, it's, it gets much better down below. All right. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this meal wood. Temperature is another interesting factor, but I think we're gonna be okay. Can't believe we're doing this. Kill the pip. Oh man, if you died to a pip, that would be the most hilarious space mission ever. All right, where are you going? Okay, digging this stuff out. Let's make sure that we have a home as well, just so we can flex a little bit. Let's build a cot on this new planet that we tamed, yes! Uh, also, if you want to flex even more, let's build ourselves a mess table. There you go. Now you can go get the food that you're supposed to eat. You're still hungry? Okay, you were on basically don't die duty. So now you're gonna be on, uh... You're gonna be on... Hero... Settler... Schedule. Where you have downtime right now because we need to watch you eat just to get the satisfaction of this. And you slept enough during the night so I think your bedtime is still gonna be there. We'll do this. You're gonna get two breaks because you're such a badass. All right. Who's trapped? <laughs> it thinks he's trapped, but this isn't... Oh, he is. Well, we're gonna have to ladder our way back out, but I don't think that this actually does anything useful anymore. This is basically just landing there, and that's it. <laughs> uh, this also means <laughs> this is stuck out in space. Um... Well, we have debris that's unmanned. <laughs> and we have a dupe that is barely surviving. All right, Mason, you did it. You are some somebody I've never seen anybody do anything like this before. You've landed on a planet and you've immediately settled on it and survived by being proving that you can breathe and eat. This is only going to last for so long. So, save. Save as Sneezing Space Rock. Post video 8. Alright. I promise I will not let any more time pass because we now have a maroon duplicate that we somehow need to make survive. We don't have to, but I want to, and it's a lot more fun. But yeah, guys. Uh, we're going to check back with this really, really soon. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I'll be back really soon with that. So have a good one.